Welcome to LifeWords Day by Day. Today, we finish up our study of 1 Corinthians, where we have tried to walk through passage by passage this incredible book that Paul has given, not just to the church at Corinth, but the Holy Spirit has given to us. In this last chapter, we're learning about generosity. We learn that Paul had a concern for people that were close to him and who were geographically far from him, that they would experience the comfort and the presence of the Lord, and that that need could be met by the Lord's people. Paul had that concern because God has that concern. God desires to comfort his people with his presence that's manifested through his church. You know, I once heard the story about a preacher out in the country who was testing out one of his members who was a farmer. And the preacher asked him, he said, Joe, if you had 100 pigs, would you give 25 to the Lord? Well, yes, pastor, I would. Well, what if, what if Joe, you had 20 pigs? Would you give five to the Lord? You bet I would, pastor. Well, Joe, how about if you had two pigs? How many would you give to the Lord? And Joe said, preacher, you need to cut that out. You know I only have two pigs. Well, the point of the story is that giving is easy when it's hypothetical. But once God asks us what we are going to do with what we actually have, we can begin to get a bit nervous. So I want to encourage you as we finish up 1 Corinthians 16, in particular with this area of generosity, to trust the Lord's word, to be faithful, to be intentional, and to trust what God has blessed you with so that it can be a blessing to others. As you pray today, please remember Thomas Mobley and his family, our missionaries in Oklahoma. And also remember the FIPA LifeWord broadcast that's heard throughout Tanzania.